is fun. It's fun. Good job, Don. Oh, you did it. <laughs> She's like, it's my job. <laughs> We took it away from you. I'm so upset now. Okay, whatever, whatever. (laughs) Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of Opinionated Luscious. So we just <laughs> figured out a topic, so we're really excited. Okay, go, Don. Your other job we are not taking away from you. <laughs> Jessica, what are you drinking tonight? I'm drinking Pabst. Woo! <laughs> Pabst, sponsor me. I'm already known for drinking Pabst. I should say something. Tag them uh, in the episode. Yeah. Oh, I gotta remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's always too late. Sonia, yeah. what are you drinking tonight? Okay, well, I pre-drink. I had most of this. Uh, once this is empty, or I think I'm taking a break right now because my coffee's getting cold. Okay, I'm drinking a coffee. It's just <laughs> coffee. And then I'm going to go back to my drink. I, I need a break. I had so much alcohol. I'm on a break. What's in your drink? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drink. It's just drink. <laughs> it's just drink, you guys. Um, it's uh, It's pineapple cranberry juice and rum Ooh, yum and then my coffee's french vanilla if that, oh, if that matters that one, yeah. <laughs> uh, i'm just drinking diet green iced tea that's it i'm not drinking tonight it's fine uh, it's no it's <laughs> fine you don't have to drink every night i'm not like that's okay you don't have to drink <laughs> any night i'm just saying yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever i'm just saying too okay? i'm just saying okay okay so, so before we started recording sonia started talking and um we just decided this is the topic so sonia you go on with your rant okay and we will join fucking in. landlords <laughs> that's what my rant is um just in general landlords Okay, but but uh, the one I'm talking about, uh, I have a post. Okay, so there's like a local uh, buy and sell group in Ontario uh, near those guys. And uh, (laughs) this guy is like renting his home. Well, I don't even know if he's the owner, but I'm assuming he is. And it's like a sketchy post (laughs) and its own, but it's thirty five hundred fucking dollars. Okay, like. Five. That's three thousand that plus utilities. No, it's with utilities. So, oh. like, you know, at least at know, least there's that, in. I guess. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna I, pool. <laughs> yeah, but you really are you gonna use the pool? Okay, so but you have street parking because I've read this. Sorry, yes, read this yeah, one. that's okay. So it's the main upper floor with three bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a living room, along with a shared backyard with a swimming pool. Rent includes all the utilities, ground maintenance, and all does want to put out most properties that are apartments, not full houses. Um, the land or whatever has to be taken care of by property manager. Just putting that out there. <laughs> ground maintenance and road parking available. The garage and driveway are for the owners who live downstairs in the basement. Seeking quiet family, older couple, dog friendly, no cats. Mature day shift working tenants preferred. You have to work during the day that you yeah. Use so like you're pool. paying thirty five hundred just to sleep there, basically. Yeah. Um. And then rental month to month available for the next twenty four months. Um. There's a few things wrong with that. Um. In Ontario, uh, you can't. So again, in whatever you can put, landlords can put whatever they want in their fucking postings or whatever. But they can't say in the lease can't say no pets even if it says no pets it's void and uh so you have lie you just pretend you're like yeah i don't got no pets actually you know what even if the application asks about pet information don't write you have pets just don't do it automatically or just just say you don't just lie that's That's what i'm saying like just say say you don't have pets yeah also if they say if you have kids say you don't again another rule is they can't tell you Oh, you have too many kids to live here. That's another people thing, but we'll that's a different rant. We'll go to that in a second. I'm on, <laughs> this one. I'm on this one. So in Ontario, you're allowed uh, to have animal companions. Um, there is special circumstances like condominiums, uh, but usually with a condo, you own it. 
and you pay fees. Mm -hmm. Like that's a complete different thing. Um, for renting, um, unless, unless the zoning. So again, in, in Hamilton, you're only allowed three dogs. Uh, if you have more than that, you can't like, that's a, that's a whole different bylaw. You can't break bylaws. Um, but a lot of them times are like, oh, I'm allergic. So what happens is after you move in, the person you're sharing the residence with, like the landlord in the other apartment, um, who will never go into your apartment, um, they have to prove that they're allergic after you move in. It can't be beforehand. It's after. So even if they say, well, it's because I'm allergic, they still have to take you to court afterwards. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, so this guy, I said it, like I commented, you can't put no cats. And he's like, owner occupied in the home. Thanks for sharing your perspective. And he gave me like a blog posting where it says <laughs> landlords are allowed to put whatever they want. Real um, legal advice. <laughs> yeah. And I said, section 14 of the renter act says otherwise, like it becomes void. Right. So and then someone else is like, if, not if it's a shared residence. Um, shared residence doesn't mean separate units. Shared residence means if you're like roommates. And they have still, to share a bathroom a and a kitchen, I think, is yeah. what the rules are for shared residence. So it's always like, do you share a bathroom with the landlord if you're living in their house? If you do not, it's a separate residence, even yeah. if it's the same yeah. house. But you still need to go to court and prove it. Like that's mm -hmm. that's it. Like, uh, I should, I, yeah, I should clarify. I'm editing this post on our thing. Like shared, <laughs> shared is if you. This is going to be a live reaction of Sonia fighting with someone on the internet. <laughs> with a landlord. Like, I'm pretty sure I know shared bathroom is usually the main one, but Not it's like shared communal step. spaces has to right. be a part yeah. of it. Yeah. If they're completely Kitchen separate and units. Bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. If they're completely separate units, then it's technically two separate spaces, like a basement apartment, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I My thing with landlords is landlords aren't providing value, like, especially yeah. if they're using it <laughs> like they're not they're not providing anything. They're just hoarding housing. Like, what do they do? It, landlords don't fix your plumbing. Plumbers fix your plumbing. You just call the landlords yeah. that the landlord can call the plumber. Like, I feel like there's a faster way to do that. Like, you call the plumber you know? yourself. like, if you just owned the properly and could call the plumber yourself, like, what is the landlord doing there? Like, they, you know, the fact that the landlord's special when they like paint over like electrical oh my sockets God. and paint over <laughs> bugs, they don't get black mold. You know, the fact that that is such a meme shows that like what value are landlords having on society besides causing homelessness? uh yeah yeah <laughs> like that's okay. all they're doing yeah it's uh it's disgusting um and like so another i have posted the same thing on my own personal facebook like laughing at it like mm -hmm. if i'm paying your mortgage i'm going to bring all my cats and as long since utilities are included i'm going to have the best weed grow set up ever um mm -hmm. But like somebody commented and uh, they're like, I don't understand. Why can't you just buy a house? Right. <laughs> it's so, so fucking easy. So you know. Oh, my goodness. Well, they live in New Brunswick where it's a lot easier to buy houses right now. That's why everyone in Ontario is moving to. I bought a house there once. You know, had to resell <laughs> yeah. it, but she you never know, lived in it. But she temporarily, bought a house. I owned a house <laughs> yeah. for three months out there. <laughs> So I just like I did the math. I did the math for her and stuff. So I did comment and I found on realtor.ca the cheapest three bedroom, one bathroom, move in ready house. Um, four hundred thousand. Um, and so I put because the banks have made it practically impossible to get a mortgage. They have what's called a stress test where mortgage can't cost more than 32 percent of your yearly income. This is the cheapest move-in ready home, the example. Mortgage would be $2,500 a month, meaning you to qualify, you would need to make $75 a month. It's doable if you're in a relationship and you both make $1,000 a week, which sounds easy enough, but then the next issue is having companies actually pay their employees $25 an hour for a 40-hour week. 
It's often part-time hours for full-time work. So that was my, and then she's like, oh, that's disgusting. Like she agreed. Like she's just like, oh my gosh. And then it, apparently in Europe, mortgage is transferred down to generations. So when yeah. the parents die, their children get the mortgage. I was like, well, you know, likely in Canada, they just take your house. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like if, well, that's, I feel like that's like the you know opposite kind of thing it's like yeah if you can't pay the mortgage <laughs> the bank just like mortgages uh it's just it's all so dumb yeah it's you just, know what I, uh, everything's made up we've already discussed this like yes yes what i hate about that is made up like everything's yeah. just made up so if the house the bank has to take your house and resell it you don't get the money you already fucking paid into it no. they keep it Right. I was like, I fucking paid like I have maybe like a hundred thousand left on a house. And now I can't make payments because something happened in my life, COVID, whatever. And I I oh, paid already three hundred thousand. They take my house, sell it for seven hundred thousand. I get nothing. The bank just made bank. Yeah, like, they need <laughs> seven thousand off the resale and three thousand three hundred thousand off of you. Yeah. They yeah. fucked me. Well, not me. Well, I mean, it's the same but... reason banks have insufficient fund fees for fucking when you have no money in your bank account. They're like, oh, you have yeah. no money in your bank account and this bill tried to bill you. So now you also owe us $50. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. How? How am I going to pay you? I don't have How money. How am I negative money? And then you make me negative -er. <laughs> Like, I don't negative -er? understand. <laughs> And like the banks to have a bank account, it's seventeen dollars a month just to like use the like just to, for me to give them my money, seventeen dollars a month. And then, but if you have four thousand in there, you don't have to pay fees anymore. Like the, that, the, capitalism <laughs> breeds innovation, folks. They just find oh, ways yeah. to fucking build. Yeah, when this all should just be a free infrastructure provided from the government. Banking, yeah, housing, you know. all of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, it's like, hell. <laughs> yeah, our dictator, you, you get a house and you get a house. It's like, my my thing with landlords is they're always like, um, we're in a recession. They're like, well, we have to raise the rents because we're losing money. And I'm like, losing money doing what? <laughs> yeah. Like, what's well, your well, job? <laughs> Losing money to oh have it owning housing that's cool because they're working their ass off to pay you that's like you know feudalism yeah. <laughs> like that's kind of the landlord it's almost like too obvious yeah and like <laughs> there it's not like there's any shipping costs you're fucking lit that's your your item is there forever there's there's no overhead the renters charges pay <laughs> the, to move like they pay yeah. to move and all this shit. You're out nothing except maybe a new coat of paint, which you can give the landlord special and cut costs. You know, like you're not a plumber, but you'll you'll give it a shot. You know, <laughs> you're just yeah. like whatever to save money. Uh, and then these save. renters are buying you your house. Yeah, <laughs> for you to resell it for seven hundred fucking thousand. Yeah, like they're, they're like in order to make profits, that means you're charging like more than your mortgage. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I it's just got like... a text message from Dave. You're oh. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. For those that don't know, oh, 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 do you want to? Okay. It's already out when this episode airs, yeah. I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have a gay, a, a virtual drinking game on opinionatedlushes.com that Sonia and Kyle, who we all love, uh, <laughs> really <laughs> worked hard on. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, we played that during pre-drinks, and Dawn got dared to make a post, and now her husband thinks she's cute. Well, yeah. no, that I'm getting a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're not, though, but, like, he doesn't know that. Dare. It was a dare. <laughs> yeah. It's part so, of Sonia the has a bunch of puppies and um, that she's selling and whatnot. And she only has like three left. And I, so I took a, one of the pictures that she took of her puppies and I posted it on Facebook, tagged my husband and said, my husband said that we could get a puppy. I want everyone to meet Marshmallow. Uh, yeah. And I named this dog because it's white. <laughs> and so um, 
now my husband just texts me going, oh, that's so cute. Like, yeah. <laughs> it is cute. It's well, a cute dog. <laughs> it is a cute dog. Uh, you know what? Sucks when landlords hate dogs. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like no pets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's um, so they- many like like landlords will ask for like such personal information on their applications that they don't have the right to ask for. And they'll do it with but- their full <laughs> chest. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so many people don't know their rights, uh, which is unfortunate. Like they should be teaching this class in high school. Uh, since uh kids won't ever be able to afford to buy houses at the rate they're going. Like this, right. you're gonna be needing to rent. Uh so you know what I hate? Learn. What the whole the whole thing, like they want credit checks and stuff, but every time they search your credit, like say you apply to like four different houses. That's four people checking your credit, and every time you check your credit, doesn't it ding and go down? No. There's no penalty for getting your credit checked. It gets marked on your credit report, but it doesn't lower your number. I thought it did. Someone told me it did. No, maybe in the States. I don't know. But here in Canada, other people can't actually even see that your credit got checked. Um, A bank can, and police can. And you can. (laughs) And you can. But but other people can't. And the credit union can. Yeah, that's, that's like the bank. only reason I know that it will still it'll like show up is like it, when I check, it shows up who checked my credit report. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Fucking dogs, guys. Don't. That's, <laughs> that's because the puppies are outside right now and the other dogs aren't allowed. That's, <laughs> now they're just like, they're jealous. <laughs> um, yeah, they need to start fucking paying rent. That's it. Like, that's I would become a dog <laughs> landlord. And they're gonna have to start paying. Um, I got a message, Kyle. <laughs> you need to start them doing an only pause, just like put the pause only, up. I, I tried that with the dad of the babies because um, it's expensive having puppies, and we're not selling them for that much. Uh, nobody was interested, so it was unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. I just saw pictures of the dogs. Just be like, look, look at yeah. these paws. Look at these cute. <laughs> Look at the snoot. Look at the snoot, guys. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys ever had any bad landlord experiences, but um, I mean, I've had multiple. (laughs) Oh, so Um, many. (laughs) My worst was actually a property management company, a small one. um, (laughs) And I lived in an apartment on top of a second cup, which is kind of like a Starbucks coffee shop. Uh, in a very pristine part of town near the university, but this place was fucking gross and broken. And when I moved in, they didn't even clean it. So uh, I made a statement because they're also required to make it live in ready. Like if you're a renter, like, and that can include th- that includes things like a coat of paint, like stuff like that. So make sure to ask for that. Because that's what I did. And then they just ended up having the cleaners come like while I was living there. But uh, it got done. And um, anyways, when I was moving in with my husband, I still owned that place, like rented that place for two months. And so I could do like a slow move in. And yeah. during that, they locked me out and threw out all my stuff. And then the they take us in. to court. <laughs> yeah, in the middle like I, they actually rented it during my last month and then weren't going to give me last month's rent. So they were going to rent that place twice, basically, which is illegal also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's a property management company renting to university students. So if you're a university student looking for housing, beware because yeah. they prey on you oh, the most. Always. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have adult supervision. And yeah. a lot of adults don't know your right their rights either, but they most students just fresh out of living with their parents don't know the real world yet unfortunately and they get taken advantage of um 100 <laughs> one of my not the worst experience because they didn't actually get to be my landlord but it was like one of the experiences that made me buy a house um like we were fine with renting like because like general i was like renting is less stress because mm-hmm. this was before before the cost went boop 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 um and uh, so we're like, okay. And then we found a house right across the street from my kid's school. So we're doing the like application process. And then I gave them my work. And uh, we had a friend who worked at the bank, but like 
we didn't put on her that, that that was our bank manager. She was just a bank manager. So um, she called my work uh, and was like, I don't trust this person. There's like saying really terrible things about me. Oh, this person like does drugs, um, like all these other things to my work. And my work is like this person's calling. And I it's a government job, by the way, guys. And this like they're like this person's calling, blah, blah, blah. They're saying that you're trying to get a house. And then they're saying all these things. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I had to give them my work number because they need to know I was employed. And they're like, yeah, that's like basic, right? Like uh, and then and then the bank person uh, who happens to be a family friend of Kyle's mom was like, this woman's calling and she's being like, how much money is in their bank account? And like all these other questions that like they shouldn't That's have. insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it was insane. So what happened is we're like, okay, you know what? I'm fed up with renting. So we just actually moved in with Kyle's parents, saved up for a down payment for a house and then uh, moved out. <laughs> and then bought a house a fixer upper kind of thing we lived in it um but then we sold it and upgraded to another house and then we sold that and upgraded to this house so like it's you know little steps but it was just like it was insane it was like the straw that broke the camel's back of like the insanity of slum landlords yeah Oh, and, and landlords, like, like okay, in Ontario, this is different for our United States listeners, but here you cannot ask for deposits. It's security first deposit. and last. Yeah, security yeah. deposit. It's first and last month's rent. That is what, you know, it is. You don't ask for security deposits. Um, so, <laughs> actually, when Chris and I first moved in together, we found one house um, and I think it was the only house we could have moved in at the time. <laughs> Because it was just so perfect. They used to use the basement as like a movie theater type thing. So they already had the ceiling all foamed and soundproofed. Great. <laughs> right? So for Chris's studio, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. And you know how much it was? $1,400 a month. This is like a three bedroom house. Two bathroom. That was like seven years ago too, wasn't yeah. it? Like, yeah. That was you a know, good full price. backyard. <laughs> That's amazing. You know, like it was, it was beautiful, and we were kind of dicks about it because we know how some landlords work. We're like, hey, hey, we'll give you three months up front. We need this place. Yeah, and, they <laughs> <took> it. <laughs> and like, of course, the landlord's gonna take it because this was his only extra property <laughs> and yeah. it's a lump sum of cash to prove he's gonna get paid and like that's like yeah there it's all about money and yeah. like my whole thing is if landlords are losing out on their investment because that's what housing's supposed to be an investment which means you might lose sometimes why don't they do what they tell their renters to do when the renters can't afford the rent anymore and get a job right get a job then <laughs> get it's so easy everywhere's hiring Right? No one wants to work anymore. Mm -hmm. Go get a job. Get a job. <laughs> that's all I hear all the time. Nobody wants to work. No, nobody wants to work for peanuts. Like that's the difference. Well, if all right? these landlords got fucking jobs, then you know, then maybe <laughs> yeah. I believe people want to work. <laughs> yeah, and landlords but, like, you don't want to work. No, oh, and you said mentioned about the the couple of months up ahead. Some landlords are like, I'll give it to you. Like I have this huge list. You know, you're desperate and you know what? I think I can help you out if you can get the money and pay four months up front. Like that's, they're saying these things like, and the first person who gets the money gets. Exactly. Gets like it's dickish <clears throat> and suckish for like the people that can't get that money up front. Although most of like, we weren't raking it in at all. We just knew that this was like the only house that would work for us to live in. Yeah. You were so like, like, we'll we just scrounge up what we have. Yeah. <laughs> but it's different for the renter to offer than the landlord to be like, Hey, like, Oh, for sure. I only yeah. thought to offer because I've rented before. So I know, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, you know, like I know what they're looking for and they're looking for people that will shut the fuck up, not mess up their investment and pay their fucking rent. Yeah. Yeah. When I lived in Fort Erie, I had a neighbor that rented 
And then they got kicked out because the person people bought the house. I'm like, I tried to tell like you guys don't have to like you guys don't have to move. Uh, but they were like, they were mad. They were just fed up. Um, they had a child that needed a little extra care. And by a little, I mean a lot. And they just didn't have the energy to go to court. Yeah. So when you live in Ontario, if someone buys your house, they can evict you if they're moving in. But after they buy the house and get possession of the house, they have to take you to court. They they have to still pay rent while you're doing it because, like, you don't want to get yeah. fucked. But in order for them to evict you, they have to take you to court and prove that their family is moving in. And then that takes a while. And then after that, if they put up a for rent sign within the year of owning that dwelling, they after you get kicked out, they get fined. Like it's so like, yeah, if you have a place and they're trying to kick you out because they're selling it, don't go. You're the new landlord's problem. And if the new landlord is like, you need to go um, say, no, I don't have to. My, the old lease is now your lease. And um, don't go until they take you to court because housing is fucking disgusting. And they can't raise your rent. Just so you know, also, it's only 2.8% yearly. Except from the for last new time. Bills. It was built Ex after 2018. Yeah. Okay, 2000, yeah, but yeah 2000, anything after 2018. Has no a lot of control. the times they will rent it out at a cheaper price and then double or triple the price the following year. So if mm -hmm. you are finding something um, within your affordability in Ontario and you see it and you're like, oh, my gosh, this seems too good to be true. Check when it was built. Yeah. 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 Just check because a lot of people are finding themselves like screwed because they can't afford another first and last move and then also pay double their rent so yeah 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 don't don't do it <laughs> so don't but do like, it but usually older houses they'll try to be like new landlords will be like oh i'm taking over your lease so you have to i'm increasing be like no two months ago steve already increased increased my rent so you have to wait again for the following year and that yeah. and it's only whatever the percentage. Yeah, it's unfortunate in New Brunswick, zero tenant laws, like no <laughs> protection over here. And what's happening, though, the people in New Brunswick are really upset about the people in Ontario buying up all their houses and then renting out the places for Ontario rents when people don't make that much money here. So for the higher paying jobs, um, you only make two thirds of what people do in Ontario. Like it's. And the cost of living is higher, like bills and everything's higher. Yeah. Like it's fucking, we gotta, there's, I don't hope there's not enough people here to start a really strong landlord and tenant board because a lot of people own, right? So yeah. we'll yeah. see maybe in the next couple of years, the shift of control. Well, I just like a lot of the, in Ontario, a lot of those um, stress test rules changed the year Chris, like the year after Chris and I had bought this house. And I like I always say, like, if we didn't buy this house when we did, we probably would not have been able to af afford a house. Yeah. Because even in the few years that we've owned this house, it's like one third more of its value. And I promise you that value is not added from us. <laughs> like, I'm not no. adding value to this house. Yeah. No way. You know, like in in Fort Erie, our house uh, it went up, but like our but like we already had the mortgage, but like our term was coming up, like it was, and like to get you you have to get reassessed, like after the end of your term, to yeah. like I was like fuck we uh it was COVID so none of us were working, um we're like nope we're gonna fail, <laughs> like that's like that's it, uh but we are we are planning on moving anyway, um. And then our house cost so much there that we were able to like move here with no mortgage, like, which is good, but you know, I, I, I can't ever, unless the stars <laughs> align, you know, like people can't move from New Brunswick back. Yeah. To yeah. And I can't really move anywhere else in New Brunswick. Cause the house we bought, uh, we bought in a cheaper area 
And so, like, if we want to move to closer to the city, uh, no, we'll have to get a mortgage. But, like, we qualify now because I work. But it's, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just so, like, it's housing. Like, I thought we figured yeah. this out by now <laughs> like yeah and you can't even buy property <laughs> right they make yeah. even buying property difficult um and building difficult to build a house so it's cheaper to actually buy a house already built but it's like 500 dollars a square foot to buy a house on the land that costs two million dollars so you're buying the land for a million dollars and then you have to build a house the smallest house two thousand square foot house is almost a million dollars there right. used it's to be a time insane. when it was cheaper to build your own house. If yes, you had that's what I'm saying. Up front. <laughs> yes. like, it's like there, that used to be a thing. And now it's like, no, you have to buy pre-built. Yeah, even that a fucking trailer is still like 300000 Like a tiny little like home, like mobile home <laughs> is like $300,000. And you're – it's not, those things bathroom. used to be 20 grand. <laughs> like, yeah. What happened? <laughs> Buying them used from like 2010 is 20,000. Like it's <laughs> Oh my god. It's 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 so it's so fucking sad. I mean even like Galen Weston is in the property business, our favorite billionaire. Of <laughs> yeah. Oh, Irving oh, oh. Irving's Let's a good billionaire. About... Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Doug Ford. Okay. And getting caught uh, bribing um, developers and giving developers $8.5 billion to build on the green belt, knowing that he could have built anywhere else. And he fucking lies. Like, so the these same developers were at his, like, daughter's staying in dough or whatever. And he's yeah. like, they're not here because they're developers and I'm a politician. They're here because we're friends. all friends. And then they're mm -hmm. like... So we caught you bribing like billions of dollars to these same guys. And he's like, we're not friends. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. And that's what I mean. It's fucking insane there too. Like the conservative government. Um, so there was a rule um, that you can't build on farmland unless you're a developer. But farmers can't sell their farmland um, to develop. Uh, they can only sell it to farmers who can sell it to developers. Um, so like you can't get a plot of land and be like, oh, I want my son to help me with my farm. I'm getting kind of old, but him and his family deserve their own space. So I just like to like little plot of land. Like I have 150 acres. I just want to give them one. No, you're not allowed. Uh, because You can sell off your farm so you don't have to take care of it. Um, and then the farmers can do what they want with it, like sell it to developers. Um, but they recently made a new law, which pretty much says if you're friends with your local politicians, they'll grant you access to uh, sever your, your land a little. But it's to their each individual discretion. So, uh, Don Marie, I'm going to need you to start sucking dick over in Campfield. Okay. <laughs> Where's our that throat goat me? when we need That's her? That's right. Take one for the team. I think there's like eight That's of true, them. Sonia. You yeah. just did two. Uh, whatever. Do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, multiple <laughs> politicians at the same time might be yeah. it's beneficial, you know? That's right. So just go over there and be like, I'm here to get Sonia some land um, and start going. <laughs> Bring a muffin basket for the people who just like, you know, maybe they get want to watch. Asexual and Cuck representation at the same That's right. time. I love it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then little blue pills for the old guys who just can't, you know? Like, they're like, I would want to, but I just can't. And then you're like, I got you. You know, don't worry, fam. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> like, we good. We good. There you go. See? Perfect. That's what I need you to do. Okay. I'll get but, on it. And then <laughs> nobody like, I'll get to work. After the puppy. You could do that for that's right. After the puppy, after the puppy. But like, you could save everyone. Okay. Like, think of the, I don't know if you have a hero complex, but I think you should get one because like, you could save people. Like, there's all these unhoused people that can get land and then they can put their tents on it until they can afford building materials. Like, think of all the good you can do by Well, okay. 
Justin <laughs> Trudeau is single now, and we know I Don's had an you. eye. <laughs> look, look. This is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to seduce JT, okay? Me and JT, we're going to mingle, okay? I'm going to be his new boo, all right? And then I'm going to talk to him about housing. I'll be like, listen, like... We, we need more. Like, it's looking really bad, honey bear. And he'll be like, yeah, baby, I, I get it. And then he's going to give all of Canada lots of funds. So he's and actually I'll be giving Hamilton him. some money for the unhousing. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't help municipal who have control over the land laws. Um, okay so mostly i'm just gonna like give to like ndp cities you know ones i know like for like mostly will do it mostly but yeah. ndp still giving money to landlords and we're very they are landlords, landlords. Or, yeah they or, are or, the fact <laughs> i'm gonna talk to jt and be all like okay baby like you know what we need to do we need the government to own housing like more like than the like city ones we need like federal housing and um and like build a bunch of like small town houses that are affordable for people to live in like based on income yeah that's what i'm gonna do when i'm balls deep like he is is a landlord too he's a property owner he is they all are (laughs) well see this is the thing okay like if people really really want a, a private sector I'm totally game for it. I'm like, cool, cool. You want a private sector? Fine. That's fine by me. But there's if it's a like a human right, like food, water, shelter, <laughs> yeah. uh, healthcare, uh, education, there should be public options that are equal to said private counterparts. So like, like the if it, it like the only benefit I guess private uh ownership would like privatization would have is like for the ultra wealthy like it should be like luxury homes privatized they're all different prices sold by people that own them whatever and then the average house that's like not filled with mold <laughs> and pest free and like has electricity uh and clean water is provided to the the average citizen yeah. yes i think renting should only be by companies it should be a business so you have to have a business license and so if you're not following your rule rules you lose your business license and these companies can only own apartment buildings and townhouses individual homes single dwellings cannot be owned by companies these are for people to own like their own homes like it's i would totally agree with that if people actually checked shit yeah, but like, like again, yeah, that, that, re- that that requires more government overseeing. Like yeah. if the government actually did their job, we barely totally. have it now. People are like, "Oh, the government's telling us to do everything." The government's not doing fucking shit. What are you? Talking you know how about? many restaurants I've worked <laughs> in that break health code violations uh, yeah. on the regular? Big name companies, by the way. Like that's just like how it goes. You know, we're just trying to cut corners here. Yeah, like no, I, I used to clean for a hospital. You don't want to hear about that. Like no, Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> and like, even like there's um, so you can buy fresh food at grocery stores. Yeah, that shit's disgusting too. It's you have 15 year olds doing all the work. What 15 year old do you know is responsible to do a good clean? Okay, fucking none of them. None. none. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's so it's fucking so- bad. <laughs> uh, fucking landlords <laughs> yeah i know it's, landlords. Just, it's uh like i remember my first landlord was actually the same as my dad's landlord because my dad lived in a triplex and the two-bedroom unit became available he lived in the three there was like a one-bedroom a two-bedroom and a three-bedroom unit he lived in the three-bedroom unit since i was like 14 years old here i am 18 and pregnant and the two two bedroom unit in the same triplex became available, so uh, so I'm like, yeah, let's move here. It'll be near my dad. So we ended up using their Wi-Fi and stuff. That <laughs> landlord, like our fridge broke, so our fridge kept like freezing and then dethawing and freezing and dethawing throughout the 
a couple months and the landlord didn't fix it for six months and i couldn't afford to take them to court because it's like a how at the time i think it was like 120 dollar fee now it's like 200 and something i think but yeah. yeah yeah it's like it's like you have to pay a fee to file it's like okay well i'm too poor for that because i have to pay these <laughs> same fuckers rent <laughs> what yeah, am i gonna yeah. do <laughs> oh it's God. terrible oh yeah my and then first... they yelled at my dad when i moved out my dad got mad at me for it like why I didn't did. your dad just tell him to fuck off right you know like that's not my problem <laughs> but like my first apartment i it's a beautiful apartment I absolutely loved it until winter came so the windows weren't sealed properly they had holes in them like not like under them like there's the ledge and under it you could see outside and it's winter and i'm like it's really cold can you like fill these in and they're like that's not our responsibility so i was 17 and i didn't again young people don't know the rights and my hydro bill because it was like radiator heating um because it wasn't just one window it was all of them like all of them had these holes and stuff in them and uh, my heating was 500 a month and I my rent was 650 and I was on OW, Ontario Works, which does not give you that much even now. And um, I was like, OK, I can't afford to live here. So I moved out. I got my hydro like turned off. Um, I just fucking abandoned it because I couldn't afford anything. And um, yeah, and then I had bad credit forever. <laughs> so because I couldn't afford it and I had to run away and then um, I had to live with people <laughs> it wasn't good like um, for a little while I was living with my brothers um, and uh, there was another family member who lived there and there was often drugs in the house and I didn't want my kid to get taken away because being young like 17 on ontario works you get checks from their like leap program uh learning oh learning, the like, good old leap program yeah. i was part of that yeah. too yeah and uh, yeah. they come to your house once a month do checks and stuff uh they'd have to make sure your kid's okay uh just because you know uh even though you're young uh you could be a shitty parent but i know mostly most people i know uh our shitty parents are people that are not young, but that's a different, that's a different rant that we're talking about. Landlords. <laughs> <laughs> Another week's episode. I know, yeah. Sure. So, but she would tell me and I would just like, okay, I did just clean, clean, like whatever you have to do, but like they would not be responsible for their own areas. So I had to go around cleaning everybody else's areas and making sure like Kara had her own space. Like it was like a nice big space that she had away from everybody and stuff. But at the same time, the shared spaces um, were not good. So I had to do that. So it was just, it was really frustrating uh, not to have my own space because um, I live differently than other family members and I could be penalized. And it just seemed like I was the one putting the most effort into that. But it was my responsibility. I'm the one that got pregnant, but it was still like share space still, yeah yeah that's what, that's what i was gonna say i was like if you live in a space with other people there's like a level of respect there that should just be expected i guess yeah i i don't know i, I had the same issue like i like your story like <laughs> i mean i was also a mom on ontario works but at one point i did have to move in um with my mom and because of her husband's drug use, I had to lie and say he wasn't there. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> like, 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 he doesn't here? live here oh, anymore. Nobody. They're separated. <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't, he doesn't live here anymore. They're separated. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, that was just part of the story. And actually, my mom told me to lie. Like, I didn't even yeah. realize. I was like, what? I'm just, you know, doing the best I can. And at that same time, I was moving out of a property, another property management company <laughs> that's really big in Hamilton. Starts with an E. Ever trust, trust. fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Ever trust, fuckers. I was yeah. living at an apartment with them with my abusive ex. And this is before Ontario has released now. They have a law. That if you are in a domestic abuse situation, you cannot be penalized for leaving, like, that apartment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At the time, they did not have such law. 
So, uh, so I left uh, before last month's rent was up, even like before, like I had to leave, and there was a hole in the door, and they felt the need to charge me for that, and creditors came after me, and I was like, well, can I, can I, I'll pay half. Yeah. Can <laughs> the other person's name on the lease pay half? Um, and they were like, well, it'll still affect your credit if they don't. And I'm like, you can't just take my name off if I pay half. They're like, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just pay my fucking, like, just take my and name So I off. had to pay for his shit, his broken shit in that apartment because uh, I didn't want my credit any more wrecked. And I was in like the 500s at this point. So I couldn't, I couldn't risk yeah. any more. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are, got so lucky to buy when we could. Uh, but uh, I have family members who, um, so they're trying to beat the system, which is fantastic. So they only pay $1,000 a month for a townhouse which is amazing mm -hmm. and that's because they got grandfathered in they had the old people um that rented it out keep their name on the lease and then they put their name on the lease and then about a year two years later the old renter took his name off the lease so this allows you to keep the same rent, which is fucking amazing and more people should do it. Like yeah. if you're listening and you have an apartment and you're trying to like go find another apartment and you pay ridiculously low amounts, do the next guy a favor, put them on the lease. Be like, hey, like 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, ever seen Joe's, <laughs> have you ever seen Joe's apartment? No, I've heard about it. And I think I've seen bits of it. It like, came out but... in the 90s. Okay, this yeah. is one of my favorite movies. Is he friends with like cockroaches or something? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a musical yeah. with cockroaches. It's amazing. And the main, so the main point is it's in New York. And the guy's like great aunt or something dies, but she's in a rent controlled apartment. And because he was listed, like kind of the same thing. He yeah. got the apartment and the landlord, the apartment's disgusting, like obviously not taken care of. And it's covered in cockroaches that eventually sing for you. Um, but the guy gets in and because like the landlords are basically trying to kill him so that they can sell the apartment for hire, even though the apartment is disgusting because it's yeah. New York and they can do that. Yeah. And this movie came out in the 90s, folks, and we didn't learn anything. Didn't le like, idiocracy. Didn't learn fucking anything. We didn't <laughs> we're fucking dumb as a species. We're like, we're the greatest on Earth. We're smarter than everyone. I'm like, are you fucking jokes? We're, we're getting dumber. <laughs> like, it's we're like, so we're... fucking stupid. Uh, was Oh, for landlords, we're talking about, so they want to know, so what a landlord should know is, yes, if you have a job, mm -hmm. uh, if they, and then roughly how much you make, and then content references, which is fine. Like, it's whatever. Yeah. What they don't need to know is how many people are living in your unit, your gender, your sexuality, your ethnicity, none of those things they need to know. Another thing they don't need to know is how many people are living in your apartment or home so a lot of them will be like well you need to have if you have children it's one children per bedroom like or two they'll be allowed to but if you have a two-bedroom apartment and you have three kids a lot of the landlords will say no you have too many kids a landlord cannot do that they're like oh there's this law and they'll send you a link the law is what i call rich people rules it's suggested um like it, they make it sound like it's a law, like the whole website. It's a suggestion that if you're going to rent your place, you should like think about guidelines. Who, yeah, it's guidelines. Like Suggested ideas. guidelines. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the actual and then and then landlords like it's a fire code, which is not the actual fire code law is ten people in a nine hundred square foot space has nothing to do with how many bedrooms. And so I'm part of mom groups and they're like, oh, I'm having such a hard time finding a place. I'm like, fucking lie. <laughs> just lie. <laughs> just I, lie. Just lie. And I used to advocate for renters' rights um, through uh, some volunteering stuff and um, like with the landlord tenant board. And um, they, they would like, so I would go on and I'm fighting and they're like, no, no, like you can't do that. It's like, they need to know it's the it's a law it's a law i'm like no it's not a law 
like your your things and like so i whenever there's a post how i got involved in this other other thing with the cats <laughs> whenever there's a post and there's somebody not following the rules i like to like people know who don't know their rights they don't have to disclose that information nothing you don't there's certain things like how much money you make and how long you've had your job and references yes those need to be included nothing else nothing else needs to be included um so i always tell moms to lie i'm like fucking lie and then i get property managers commenting you can't do that i'm like don't be a slum lord and then they're like i need to make a living i'm like not by get a job and you know what i tell people that are applying to jobs and, and have to fill out applications and give referrals and whatever else you can also lie there too you know just you fucking lie, lie. just lie, lie. companies just lie. don't give a shit like they don't care about you fucking lie if you're gonna okay. do the job they don't care <laughs> yeah. if, like if you have the skill set obviously they're gonna ask you questions and if you can't answer that you're a fucking idiot for applying for that job <laughs> but like everything else lie about it just like look up, look up online what like that job is and then like oh like even if you've like done those skills before but you don't know how to word it, copy. You could copy and paste, that's fine. Businesses look for, they use computers to look for keywords anyway. Yeah. So they're, they're <laughs> looking for where, the, where you copy and paste it. So that's what they want, uh, but lie. And I always tell people, I'm like, if you want me to write you a reference letter uh, for a landlord, I'll do it. Like, it's, <laughs> I'll be your reference. I, you worked for me for 10 years, bitches. I will like that's I that's felt it. I so care. fucking bad. So like that fucking slumlord apartment, I told like I said that threw it on my shit when I first moved in there. They were like, "Oh, we can't have a single applicant because uh like they they required a cosigner. Even if every like I proved that I can afford the rent and yeah. everything like that. They're like, "No, no, no, we still need a second person's name on this." So the boyfriend I've had for like four and a half months who we weren't planning <laughs> on living with, Chris, uh, I had to ask him, hey, I'm fucked because neither of my parents will co-sign for me and I have no one to co-sign. And he's living at his parents' house at this time. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in Greece. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, let me find a place that has a fax machine. <laughs> Shit. That's amazing, though. Now I'm it's ten years later, and I'm married to him. But yeah, so he actually signed to be my um. Like I didn't get any money from him for this apartment, nothing. Uh, but he did sign uh the second signature place uh just to so I could get I could get the fucking place because it was within walking distance of my school. That's great. Kyle and I had a really big milestone at four and a half months too. Uh, we were just fuck buddies and like he asked me to marry him and I said yes. And then he gave me his bank card the next day and we've been together ever since. Like, <laughs> <it's> love. <laughs> but like, you know, the four months mark, I guess is like, you know, that's it makes it that's when you know forever. i feel like <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's that's when you yeah. know and like he was away for three weeks like it was that was next to this past trip like tour he did that was the longest obviously i'd been away from him and uh and yeah the first thing he did after he got off the plane back in canada was he drove to see me and we fucked in his car oh so that, that was, was when i was living at my mom's house right so i was like mom <laughs> just watch for like five minutes you know so it's just like yeah oh that's romantic right <laughs> right it was a honda civic gray his mom's yeah. car yeah <laughs> How his mom's car too <laughs> we're like twinsies what the fuck yeah you're just like a younger version <laughs> i'll catch up don't you worry yeah. <laughs> Dom Marie had a four month. Did you and Dave live together four months of your relationship? No, we were like, a year. We were like, a year. Well, he moved into your, your mom's, didn't he? Your nanny? Yeah. Yeah. Like and months. a year. No. Oh. Year. A year. I thought you guys were like right away. He was like, no. Sneaking in, sleeping in your bunk bed. You no, know, we had sex. Um, like, we both lost our, each other's virginities to each other. Um, two months, two weeks, and two days into the relationship. Oh, see, that's a milestone. 
Like that's yeah. <laughs> see the the important milestones are what makes relationships. It was, yeah. Stay together. <laughs> you should celebrate like two 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 Tuesday. Oh, like anytime it comes it up, just passed or last year, it was yeah, it was something. It just passed. You should yeah. have ultra celebrated that. Yeah, yeah. we gotta have sex. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> we should take back our virginities again. <laughs> well, like I feel like you don't use it in a long time; it just grows back, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's like it's a made up thing anyway. You can make up your own rules. Like yeah. it's just yeah. make up your own rules. Like landlords. Make up your own oh, rules. Oh fucking landlords. Like it's just I argue with my father in law all the time about this. And I he always gets stumped on the question, what are they providing? Yeah, what? If you say housing, you're wrong. <laughs> they can the just take it away. There. Yeah, yeah, they can just take it away. Like it's so- <laughs> if you like video games, I highly recommend uh, uh was it Not Your Broadcast? It has real actors in it, which is awesome. Um and part of it is uh you are editing a news broadcast and you get to choose what propaganda goes in and one of the parties that gets elected is taking away the second and third houses from rich people. <laughs> That's and then nice. the rich people come out they're like this is discrimination and they're like they don't know how to protest so it's obviously yeah really they're... funny what yeah. about their fourth houses do they get to still keep those oh they get to keep their first houses yeah but you said only the second and third so what well about the i fourth house? Well, I, I guess they lose all their houses above second like they're like one house per group is enough I which guess. is like it should be that in real life you know? right <laughs> right it's just so funny because then they're like all the rich people are like ah you're stealing like how am i going to afford to live and they take all the rich people's passports and they're like mm-hmm. dictatorship and it's like well you're trying to take all your money away to another island <laughs> so <laughs> it's just funny it's a good game good game highly recommend highly recommend uh, do we have anything else for landlords? I no. have been like I haven't had too many bad ones, but I have had to advocate. So for seniors having bad landlords, um, they would not uh, like bed bugs and cockroaches like on the ceiling. These people can't even barely walk, and they like covered in bug bites. I had to go to like advocate for these people to get the proper care and that was so heartbreaking yeah yeah like it shouldn't even be a question yeah like why are you not providing they're paying you rent you should be taking care of these units for them like it's and even here i have clients uh and there's uh a place that's a landlord place and the landlord does not fix things and these seniors are afraid they're going to be kicked out um of the buildings uh there have been people trying to like advocate for the property managers to get out of these areas uh but they were banned to ever come back to those areas which i don't understand how that's possible i don't know much about the laws here. I don't have the time to research to ha- help advocate these people at this time. So I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to leave it because that's just, I'm just going to lose sleep over it. But yeah. Yeah, local seniors are living in fear of being evicted um, because they aren't getting their needs met. So, like, it's. And it's not even your job to step in to advocate. That's, it's that's not my the job. government's <laughs> job. Yeah. It's the government's job to do that. But they aren't yeah. doing that. They're, they're not. They're not. And they never done that with landlords. Why? Because most of the politicians are also landlords. And like when the leftist party of Canada has landlords amongst them and MPs, they are not a leftist party. So stop no. saying the NDP is leftist, you fuckers out there. <laughs> yeah. I'm so fucking sick of it. They're, <laughs> They're maybe center left at best. Yes. At Best. I don't think we I don't think after over the years I don't think Canada has a truly left we party do not anymore. No. we do not like it's gone we the Overton to- window is so far right 
that like some ideologies like people should be able to eat is considered radical left. <laughs> yes, it's extremist, right? <laughs> uh, like, because every time I have a, an opinion about human rights, I'm considered an extremist. Is that fantastic? Um, but yeah, no, if we. What's crazy is we're not quite American conservative yet. Like our most conservative party still isn't American level yet. And which has me fearing for Americans. Um, Cause even their most left party is not as like is our right. Isn't even close to that yet. Like it's, 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 very it's very, like, like our conservative party, the progressive conservative party. Oh no, no, no. no the the day, they went back to just being conservative. Yeah, they're they, just conservatives now. They don't want to be And there is not one pro-choice MP among them. They are no. all pro-lifers. Yeah. Officially. So all Catholics, that, too. They all believe in that one religion. Yeah. Well, so, like, all the conservatives are all pro-life. So that already shows, like, they used to be progressive. They were the one. I, I believe it was Harper that brought in gay marriage. You know, yeah. so the conservatives, <laughs> the progressive yeah. conservatives made it legal to be gay and get married in Canada before any of the states. So there you go. Uh, and yeah. now they're all pro-lifers and anti-gay. So, yeah, it's it is. It's getting bad. Worse. I think because so, um, I think media takes a big part in that. And uh, with American media, people get brainwashed so easy. So Propaganda is always out there. <laughs> yeah. And so since it's in the news a lot, what's happening in the States, have, like it trickles down. They're like, well, if they're doing it, why aren't we doing it? You know, we don't have to do it. It's okay. Let them burn on their own. We don't, we don't have to either. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. We're just America's hat. Yeah. But now we're getting like, you know, like when you watch cartoons and everything changes color and like when a scene changes, we're our hat is getting tainted. It's like starting to get like matching the rest. <laughs> uh, if you're American, email us. Tell us how a bunch of country is on fire. We'll read it live on air. Yeah, ours is <laughs> literally on fire, but tell us why yours is. And theirs is also on fire. You, oh, Hawaii, no. Hawaii's gone. Oh, like, my gosh. Yeah, no. it's, what, 37 confirmed dead now? Oh, but that was gosh. this morning. Yeah. I have no idea now. Yeah, it's bad. It's really well, bad in Hawaii right now. And yeah. Hopefully nobody's blaming them for the smoke because, you know, if that's going to happen in the next few days. I know. <laughs> like, part fuck. Of the state, Maine, Texas Maine is going to be, be so like, mad. They're going to be yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why is your smoke ruining my vacation? <laughs> <laughs> Oh I watch good first day of school photos of my kids. Why is <laughs> ruining them? <laughs> that literally happened though, because people are fucking. It's the same people that bitch about Nymo or Amber Alerts and yeah, shit. That, you know? Yeah, yeah, same but fucking for, people. Yeah, oh, fucking landlords. <laughs> fucking <laughs> landlords. Anyway, fucking uh, <laughs> I'd love to thank our uh, a VIP Patreon, Stephanie Hurst, for hanging in there uh, and <laughs> staying a VIP Patreon. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want your name shout out here, just join us at the VIP Patreon tier, uh, highest level. But you can get all of our bonus content even available at the lowest tier. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you can find out all our newest things there, usually weeks early. So follow our Patreon if you like us enough. If you like <laughs> us enough, <it's> just, <laughs> just $5, you get stuff. $5. Yes. And and if, if that's too much for you, you just want a one-time payment, you don't want to worry about it, oh, buy us a drink on our link tree. Yeah. Let us know. If you said you can add a little message when you buy us a drink there, and we'll read that too. We'll we'll shout you out in an episode if you give us a one-time payment. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much for listening. Um, fuck you if you're a landlord and you're listening. Uh, you. Eat the rich. Yeah. Yep. Um, Stop hoarding. Nom, nom. Land, what are you, a fucking dragon? Go and away. Domri needs to go be a hero and start <laughs> sucking dick for property so the unhoused can have houses. Yeah. That's their goal. Come back with us. Superhero throat go on her way. <laughs> plan, guys. I want to have a cape, like a whole outfit. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Superhero throat goat. <laughs> nice. Okay, anyways, before we start brainstorming more... 
Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Bye.